Happy Tuesday! So, I'm here with my good friend Ananda. Nice to meet you. Who we biked across America together as cultural recyclists and had a swellerific time. That's one way to put it. Swellerific <laughs> is is a a new word of sorts and a few days ago on the Equinox I gave the challenge of doing something for 24 hours and uh, the challenge that I took on was to somehow come up with 24 new words in 24 hours and to be honest it took me a little bit longer than 24 hours to come up with all these words because I, I tried not to force them I tried to let them come to me and uh, just having my day-to-day -day experiences I was like you know that there could be a word for that and uh, Ananda and I on on the bike trip came up with a lot of new words um, I didn't only one of them I put on this list because there was a situation where I remembered this word and it's a great word so <clears throat> we are going to share some of these words with you and if you did the 24-hour challenge I would love to hear what your experience was one of my friends here uh, decided to take the challenge and she was silent for 24 hours and she said it was a very amazing experience so the first word is Gerblu. 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 What does that mean? I don't know. Tell us. It means the joy which occurs from a an acute memory uh. of a good time bubbling up spontaneously. Oh. <laughs> Gerblu. <laughs> so when uh, when a random memory just like pops in. Gerblu. That's Gerblu. It's like Gerblu. Like exactly. Instantaneous. Yes. And uh, the next word is no pa. No pa. Which means I feel like being silent. And the next word is yapa day. Yapa day. Which is an exclamatory word similar to wow. Yap and day. But with its own suchness. I like the word suchness, just noticing the, the subtlety of, of everything. Like Ananda has her own suchness. <laughs> I have my own suchness. You have your own suchness. So yap a day! Yap a day! Satalape. Satalape. Satalape is the state of someone who has stepped into their fullest expression of their gifts. Satalape. And we'll post a link to these definitions because they're they're words now. They're gonna be in Webster's <laughs> uh, and it's official. Miriam Webster's pretty soon. Yeah. Yeah. Fal Socardo. Is that how you would pronounce it? Probably. Fal falso cardo? Falso cardo means... Exclamation point after that. Exclamation point. It means, I thought I was craving this, but I was wrong. Oh. So Just food, or could it be other things, like activities? I think other things would be good, too. Yeah. I mean, these words are not set in stone <laughs> at all. I <They're>, know. <laughs> um, and, and any input that you have on these new words would be great. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's like, oh, I'm going to eat this banana. But then you start eating the banana and you're just like, also chardo. <laughs> this is not what I wanted. Ifyify? Ifyify. It's when you add F-I-F-Y to another word. Like stupefy? But yeah, essentially, but but <laughs> I you, guess stupa isn't a word. <laughs> but if I want to affify the word orange, then I would 
be like, I'm gonna orangeify you. Mm-hmm. So it's like an action. It's an action. It's yeah. Okay. It's a verb to to ify. Shazam boo! <laughs> it's an expanded sense of what is possible. Shazam boo! <laughs> you didn't think that was possible until. <laughs> Koe tu is an answer to how are you, meaning I'm kind of funky, but by saying this, it's improving my state. So acknowledging the feelings inside of you yourself helps you to release it, which mm-hmm. improves your state. And the word for it is, where is it? Kowai tu. Kowai tu. Yeah. And so the next word is is something we came up with on the bike trip. The word is unastama, which you may be saying to us right now if you think (laughs) we're talking too much. But uh, unastama means I get what you're saying. You can stop talking. That was a favorite word on our bike tour because sometimes you understand. So you want a polite way to say... We can move on. Mm-hmm. So in Nostoma. Yeah. We can stop complaining about <laughs> whatever. We don't complain. Yes. Worga Wurgat. Which is my brain is worrying, but my being knows that there's nothing to worry about. Worga what? That's a good one. Absoluco! The affirmation that I am perfect and lovable as I am and am in no way inadequate or needing improvement. Yeah. Absoluco! 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 You're just good as you are! Adequenedry. Is that it? Adequenedry? Adequenedry! Adequenedry! Is that I trust I will have enough energy to do that. Adequate energy. It's when you eat food in the grocery store before you buy it. (laughs) Were you doing that when you came up with this word? Probably. (laughs) Sure plop. Sure plop. Is when you drop a piece of food and it seems to vanish. Sure plop. Compaction. 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 (laughs) It's compassionate action. So it's taking action in whatever way you see fit. Perhaps that's protesting or um, planting gardens, but being compassionate about it and not being mad at other people who aren't taking action. Compaction. Compaction. (laughs) Trilarities is instead of balancing two opposites, balancing three similar values or things. Yes. Can you explain that a little bit further? (laughs) (laughs) All right. (laughs) Doxapair (laughs) is an... An exclamatory word. Exclamatory word. word. Meaning, it's a paradox. Doxapair... Docs a pair. So when you realize that something is a paradox, you just shout out docs a pair. Docs a pair. Compundrious. Compundrious. This one is from, I was facilitating a workshop called The Tale of the Two Trees, and we were creating new language in the workshop, and out of nowhere, this guy in the back of the audience is just like, Compundrious! <laughs> and then he was like, like a big puffy cloud! And I just like that, that that image that image is is often a ger blue. It just like sh- it just blasts into my memory of this guy just yelling out compundrious and it means large and fluffy. Like a big cloud. This hat is somewhat compundrious. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. It's good. Deja stew <laughs> means that we knew each other in a past life. 
So kind of like deja vu, but it's the deja stew that we all came from. Exactly. <laughs> I'm not sure, but, but deja stew. Yeah. Perhaps. <laughs> Infinivolve is a word to describe the ever-evolving now, which is now, now, moment. <laughs> <laughs> Infinivolve. Infinivolve. The next word is shivel dibble. <laughs> it's a response phrase to say, I am content as I am. The moment. Oh, that's the next one. So, yeah, shivel dibble is. Uh, it's all groovy. So, like somebody says, uh, Would you like to. Come to the grocery store. You could just say shibble dibble. I'm I'm good <laughs> as I am, just without the grocery store. <laughs> Shapouster is the moment of realization when you notice you're taking yourself very seriously. Shapouster. Shapouster. <laughs> Flytoity is the state in which all the chi meridians are wide open and intense exercise is possible and is actually very enjoyable in the state of flytoity. Flytoity. On the bike trip we experienced a lot of flytoity. Oh yeah. And I think I've recently fallen in love, re-fallen in love with intense exercise because like Sometimes you just get stagnant and like your body you don't move it enough and then you just gotta like go for a 20 mile run or something to yeah not that I've ever gone 20 <laughs> miles but but once you start to loosen up then it starts feeling really good your energy you can flow through can't imagine how you are ever so stagnant stagnant for such a period I realized yeah. that this morning when we were doing yoga and stuff. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, it feels so good to move my body, to be in touch mm -hmm. with my body. <laughs> and the very last word is... Mm -hmm. Which means... <laughs> mm -hmm. We will post the link to all of these official words below, and if you would like to share anything about these words, or if you'd like to share anything about the 24-hour challenge, which I still challenge you to do, do something crazy for 24 hours, stay up for 24 hours, don't eat anything for 24 hours, be silent for 24 hours. Be alive for 24 hours. Be alive, be loved for 24 hours. And another thing I highly recommend is icy cold showers. I just took an icy cold shower. They're awesome. You are awesome. Peace.